Hello guys, even without launching new major Laravel version, Framer keeps evolving with the help of the community and every week there's a minor new version and in this video I want to tell about one new feature that appeared this week in Laravel 8.37 with contribution by this guy, Tiago, and the feature is anonymous migrations. I really like it because I had this exact problem in the past and this feature solves it. So in this video I will show you what is anonymous migrations and along the way you will probably learn a thing or two about anonymous PHP classes for those who didn't know that. So one by one, a problem. If you generate a migration, for example add fields to users table, in the future maybe someone else, some other developer may try to generate the same migration with the same name. So add more fields to users table, for example. So your migration adds username, for example, field, and then that other developer a year from now, of course, they don't know that that migration name already exists and tries to do the same thing, the same command. And of course, they will run into error because the class name already exists. Add fields to users table is the class name that is generated from the snake case to camel case of this one. And this is a migration class name. So the overall problem is that you cannot have the migration with the same name, the same class, although it is possible that different migrations perform roughly the same task. And what this change does in 837, instead of having class for migration, it would accept anonymous class, anonymous PHP class. I will actually open a PHP documentation for this. So you can generate new class without specifying the number few examples below like this. So your class, your PHP class doesn't necessarily need to have a name. And in case of migrations, those names are actually not being used anywhere significantly. So it is possible to do something like this. Return new class, delete this one. And one more thing, you need to add this. So now we have a migration, but without the class name. And now if we try to generate another migration with the same snake case name, it already succeeds because we don't have class name conflict anymore. So as you can see, we have two migrations with the same name, but with different timestamp and it is enough. But for now, this new feature in 837 doesn't generate the migration according to new class because it would be too much breaking change. So Taylor didn't approve that and it was postponed to probably Laravel 9. So you need to do manual change. But that manual change doesn't necessarily have to be that you manually change every class. So for example, let's delete that migration like it didn't exist. And then what we can do is specify the stubs for migrations to be in a new format. So to do that, there is a command PHP artisan stub publish. And it will publish all the stubs that may be possible to change for whatever make commands. There are a lot of stubs here on the left. You can see console controller factory and some of them are around migrations. So migration create, here's a stub. And with that, you just change to return new class and semicolon at the end. Also migration, like any migration, return new class semicolon and migration update. So three stubs, return new class. And now if we try to run make migration, it succeeds and look at the result. Add fields to users table already has anonymous class. And let's try to add another field and try to run the migration to test if it actually works. So string, for example, description of a user. And let's try to generate or run migrate fresh. It totally worked even though the name is absolutely identical except for the timestamp. So I really like this feature by Tiago. Again, thank you Tiago very much. And also Dries Laravel team member already added that migrations to the skeleton of Laravel app. So in default Laravel app, you would have return new class instead of create users table, but there's still an open debate between Taylor and Dries whether to accept that or to postpone that to Laravel 9. Cause it's quite a breaking change and may be tricky and may be risky. But if you do generate return new class with anonymous classes for your migrations, it would already work. 
If you want to follow Laravel news, I'm trying to be up to date, reading all the tweets and all the news and informing you on this channel. So subscribe. And if you want to support me on my mission of daily videos, check out one of the three products that you can see on the screen from myself and my team. And by supporting those financially, you support me and I have more time to shoot daily videos for you on YouTube. See you guys in other videos.